lunchtime. So, how's your morning going up till now? It's noontime, and two boys from Brooklyn want to serve you a huge portion of humor for lunch. So, break out the lunch pail, or the sandwich you packed, and let Les and Freddie S. bring you jokes and nostalgia mixed in with important information about medicine, food, dating, or just the stuff you need to help that bagel go down nice and smoothly. And if you have a story about anything you want to share, a bad date, a movie review, or just the strangest thing that happened to you at work, call in and join the fun toll-free at 1-800-889-0267. Right now, sit back and let's start the lunch break. Freddie S. and Les are ready, so here are the boys. Uh-oh, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo-woo! You are on, baby. Are we on? Yeah, man. We are. We are on. Good afternoon, America, Florida, oh, no. New York, Atlanta. We're all over the place. Are we? All over the place. What about Nolans? What? Nolans? Nolans. I just made a phone call. There. They haven't called me back. We're going to be on Nolans, too. Don't New say, Orleans. don't say New Orleans. It's not. It's yeah. one word. Because I went there and was oh mugged God, me for my sneakers. It's hard. You have to, pr- you have to teach me. Okay. And we're a little, <laughs> little, sh- little shy one in the studio today. But we've got, we've got Daisy, and, yes! we've, and we've got Freddie, and we've got Jersey, and of course Connecticut. Can't forget about her. Hi. She, I'm she holds here. us together here. Keeps us in line. She's the glue from the horse. Am I? So I have something <laughs> I want to talk about today. Yes. What is it? What is it? Okay. What is it? Now you have a boyfriend, Connecticut, and everybody else here is married except for me. So I have to deal with these online dating sites, okay? Uh-oh. Oh, God. So what I just want, I want your guys' opinions on a few things, okay? Yeah. And just have things have changed. Now, come on. You just got a boyfriend re- recently, right? Did you, uh, did, uh, yeah, Did sure. you give him back So away? come on. Come on. Are we going to say thank you to our sponsors or no? <laughs> do we, okay. Should we, should we do I mean, that we, first before we move on into uh, content? We can do it in any order you want. <laughs> Well, hold Daisy that. is very regimented. You know right. that? Like I mean, God forbid you go ABC. out of order around here with her. I know. That doesn't right, hold right. Hold right. We have to do the weather. We have to speak as well. Hold on to that thought. I'm following a clock. Yeah, hold on are. to that thought. All because right. if, if she messes up a clock, she'll be on Friday. I'm like, what is today? <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I know. Okay, go ahead. Let's talk about our sponsors first. Health and wealth. Do you know what happens when you don't advertise? Come on, everybody. Nothing. Nothing. 954-303-9563. And also, Dr. Anthony Penoso. Guaranteed to take care of migraines on the first visit. 561-381-5800. And to that TV. 866-224-5422. Let us make your dreams come true. And quality tax plus services. Quality, integrity, results. Your finances are our priority. And they fix your credit too. 954-969-0012. Harry, give us a call, Harry. Give us a call. Yes, All right. and every time that we hear that, ding. You get a free consultation with yes. Harry Houdini. Yes, just call the number. You can call him directly and tell him that we sent you. 954-969-0012. Okay. And uh, yes, now we can go. And, ahead. and you're a blonde. Today I'm yes, blonde. Yes, Daisy are. has converted. Your next I Connecticut. Just, I yeah. used to be a blonde. Wait a minute, is I this saw, something I saw everybody's girl, doing? And I said she's having fun. It's summertime, you know what? I go summertime. darker in the winter and lighter in the summer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I said, let me like see. Like I'm a natural blonde, but I like to go bleach blonde in the summer. Really? I like highlights. Yeah, because you know why? It, it, I don't really have to do worry about my hair in, in the summertime because the sun just bleaches it. And when I go, oh. if I go to the beach, it just keeps getting lighter and lighter, so I kind of help it along. You so. know what? I do highlights, but I, my hair was getting damaged. This ain't highlights. Highlight. This is full lights. And I said, no more highlights. And I said, and the, the lady said, Raquel, by the way, yes. that we put I the, saw picture. the picture. Yes. Yeah, but you didn't bring the lady in, but that's No, okay. it was crazy. You were out of town. Da, 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 da. Da, da, we're da, talking da. about the uh, da, 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 da. Mother's Day contest that we had. And I went to Raquel, and she did. Oh, and right. I said, no highlights. And she just did, okay, let's do color. Just do color because it's going to be healthier for your hair. The highlights were damaging my hair. And yada, yada. Okay. You did your eyebrows too? A little bit, yes. Yeah, so it matches that. because if you have black and then blonde, I used to my matter? eyebrows. I didn't do anything else. Your I, eyebrows are dark. <laughs> I used to I darken do, my eyebrows. I used to do I don't that. Make them lighter. Oh, there you go. I used to do the jersey. 
You know, yes. Yeah. yeah, I kept my eyebrows dark when I was uh, blonde. I was blonde. Yeah, yeah but that, that you know why it washes you out. So you want to, yeah. you have to wear a little bit more that color. Works. That's the thing. You have yes. to wear eye makeup and you have to do your eyebrows a little bit darker. Yes. yes. All right. It's a That's little what I more, do. It's a little yeah. bit more work. All right. So yeah. let's get back to your question. <laughs> the dating. The dating. Yeah. Questions. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I don't know. I've been on a few of them. I, I've tried them all out. Mm. But um, I got a question the other He's day. Talking about, she's talking about the dating sites. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful dating sites. What do we have got? We've got Match. We've got Plenty of Fish. We've got all the horrendous Tinder. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, we've got Bumble. Just name a few. Okay. So, <laughs> what, Christian Mingle? What? Christian Mingle? Christian no. Mingle, yeah. J-Date. You're not Christian. I'm not Jewish, so I'm not on J-Date. <laughs> she's not Christian, so she's not Christian and I am, Mingle. I am Catholic, so yeah, I could probably go on Christian Mingle, but. Okay, can we get to the story? All right, so a guy, a guy wrote me the other day, and he asked me if I wanted Netflix and chill. Oh, okay. boy. So to me, mm-hmm. in this day and age, Netflix and chill means come on over, let's have a pizza, and let's have sex. Yes. It does? Yes, it does. Yeah. So I yes, said to this guy, do you even know what that means? And he said, it means come on over and watch a movie together. I said, uh, no, it doesn't. You better work on that line. And I hope that's why you're not, you're not saying this to everybody on the site, because that's why you're not getting any dates. I would be guilty of that, too. Yeah, I did that. chill means you're not even like worth take going out to dinner and, and taking oh. out for a drink. You're like, come over my house and hello, let's get you know. Oh, I did not and know that either. What age first... are we talking about? What age is this guy? Oh God, how old was he? He was is old. Fifty? No, no, no. He was probably around. <laughs> is he in his fifties? Maybe late thirties. <laughs> Why? Late 30s, That's early forties. But he should Anna. still know. He should still know better. See a sack of skin at fifty. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, there are plenty of guys. So wait a minute. Let me get this right. So this is the first time he was meeting you. Oh, I didn't meet him. Of course, I would never meet somebody who said that. No, he. No, no. When you this go would on be these the sites, first time. They write you messages. He was initiating. Initiate. He was initiating Contact. a conversation, yes. and his conversation was, "Hey, do you want to come over and Netflix and chill?" I'm like, "Listen." Oh. I'm like, oh. Uh, first, of all, first of all, the problem there is just that this is what you're offering me. Really? Yeah, that's a, that was your first opening line to me. Yeah. Get out of here. Wow. Maybe Get out of here. To, you know what it is? Maybe he's used to it. Mm. Maybe he's a lot of ladies yeah, over there. They used, just don't want to. Better get used to getting nothing. Or maybe he was playing stupid. It was like, oh, I didn't know. No, what how about he is stupid? Okay. Ooh, Moving right along. Now, the other right thing now. I can't stand is that when you finally <laughs> do give somebody your number and they're they're messaging you, you know, and I'm sure this, like your friends are guilty of this as well. People message you and then, you know, you're in the middle of a conversation and then it's just like nothing. You ask them a question or and then you don't hear from them for like three hours. Yeah. I am sorry, but it. I mean, messaging is almost like a phone call today, and there's got to be some kind of guideline. Well, maybe there. he's like, busy. Listen, I don't care if I take a Finish phone call, thought. if I get up to go have dinner, if I have to go answer the door, if I go out, to, whatever it is. I'm like, listen, hey, by the way, I'm on a call, or I'll get back to you. We'll pick this up later. I'm always respectful like but that. But this is on a first-time basis that you're meeting someone? People do this to me all the time, and it drives me insane. My girlfriend will be like, hey, what do you do hey. tonight? I'm like, oh, I'm staying home. I'm not going anywhere. And, and then nothing. But wait a oh, minute. I'm not what, you, what if I said? But if I said, hey, yeah. But what exactly, do you? But what? But, yeah. what do you, but what do you expect her to say? Oh, okay. I was just wanted to see if you wanted to go out. You know, maybe another uh, time. Give me a call. You know, later. Or if you feel like coming out, blah blah blah. It is rude. You have to finish the conversation. Oh, it is extremely yeah, rude. Yeah. It's just like nothing, and I can't take it anymore. I don't blame oh, you. I don't want to talk to you on Facebook. No. So then I get really mad, and I do it back to them. Right. Like I'll just be like, hey, you want to go out tonight? And yeah, sure. And I'll just make like, nothing. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> vindictive yeah because it Boy, I'm a and then they're like how come you ever text me back i'm like because you're the rudest texter ever and i'm like you don't do that and they think it's so funny they it's laugh. a rude uh, uh, uh. it's a rude no, but if it's worse when it's rude texter we're not talking by text even worse ever. when it's a man though again when it's, it's even a man more, of course it is. come on none of these men pick up the phone and call you absolutely you give them your number no, and they scary. text you for days that's true no talking and no talking and then they make a date with you well, and then perhaps, you haven't even like heard their voice yet but perhaps it's because oh, that's if, yeah, yeah that's tough that's a tough one but the other one that you were the other thing that you were saying about not texting back and messenger back, that's we cannot talk ever again like that because I will hold you for like three hours because I'm busy I'm on the air and yeah. I cannot answer Freddy Freddy knows I don't answer him right away I wait three days <laughs> <laughs> Freddy texts but I already me, know but I know He's busy. Uh, sometimes I call him and he goes straight to voicemail. I know he's busy. And the, com- be- the conversation I have with her is really funky because we'll say one line or and one then- sentence or one word. We, we have to fill in the rest, <laughs> but yeah. I know she's busy. Yeah. So three days later, I get the rest. We fill it out. Yes. <laughs> like we, even we know if it takes what we're me- talking about. He knows what I was talking about and I know. <laughs> even if it takes me 10 minutes, like I do have to get up and run, do something. Even if it takes me 10 minutes to get back to them. 
I'll come back and say, I'm so sorry. You know, this is what happened. Yeah, you oh, did that wow. to me a couple of times. You said, I'm sorry to get back to you, but it was like three seconds that later. Was, so You're, courteous. You're courteous. You're courteous. And that's, yeah. Yeah, that's so you're way too courteous. I, you know why I was yeah. raised with manners. Sorry. You have too no, many no, manners. That's you know, I'm going to carry those into my out. adult life. That's good. That's good. We appreciate it, but you know, but I we expect have to, those type of manners to come from. You have somebody to understand else that well. everybody's like you. It's true. Boy, especially yeah. in Florida, guys. It's, it's just called manners. Period. You know what? What I would do? It's if like I, saying please and thank you and yeah. goodbye and yes. hello. Uh huh. If How a guy hard is text that? you, if I got a guy texts you and doesn't want to talk to you, something is wrong. Yeah. Because you need to at least have a conversation, like hear the voice. If something like that happens, that's bad. You especially, run away. Especially when someone initiates the conversation. When they text you in the morning, like, oh, good morning. And you're like, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. What are you, going, yeah, what are you doing this weekend? Or what, what are you yeah. doing for Memorial Day? Blah, blah. And then you hear nothing. Okay, I got a question that just came in. If you meet the guy and you don't like the guy, how do you... Get rid of him. <laughs> Is that what you do? You get rid of him? No, if you don't like the guy. You but how do you get rid of the guy? Ignore him. You just say... You I'm deal busy. with it. Ignore, Ignore him? Yeah, I've done that. You deal with it and try to cut the jade as short as possible. You you busy and I have like get the picture. two other things to do. You're talking I'm about when you when he's actually you're actually face to face with this yes. person on a date? Yes. You have to go through it. You have to be polite. You have to oh, have true. manners. What are you gonna do? Mm. And then you and then you know, listen. How do you, how do you and if kill he calls it? you the next day or he texts you, say, Listen, you know what? I just don't think there was a connection there for me. But yeah. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> I wish you You the can't best be friends. It's, no, it, it's do or die. I have enough friends. I don't need to go on a date to make more friends. The problem wow. is Not only that, if a guy friends. likes you and he likes you more than you like him, he doesn't want to just be a friend. Then Perfect. you've got a leech. Yeah. Just hanging on. Well, let's assume this is not leech material. It's just a person. Are you just going to say, I don't want to talk to you anymore? No, you say what I said. You don't want to give him hope. I just don't think there was a connection there. You don't want to give him You don't want to get his hopes up. Smokes, well, there's people that you want to keep for other reasons. Really? Like life. what? You, you have a category. Help you move? <laughs> Picking up at the you airport. Well, if somebody's a good network connection, you know, then you want oh, to. Oh, so using people. him is okay. No, no, no. Not using, using him. I originally went on a date with him. I didn't think he was my type, right. but there, I think that we can maybe do business and network together. I got you. Is that a and naughty that's what pen? I, and you know what? I don't know. I found it here. Oh, I thought it was a naughty pen. You know, those naked pens? No, it's, yes, it is a naughty pen. Oh, is it a naughty yeah, pen? Less, oh, it's a falcon. So, less had Funny it. pen. What? He's talking something about that it was naked. naked. Yeah, no, it's something yeah. floating in here. I don't know what it is. Don't touch Anyways, it. It's diseased. <laughs> listen, the, the listeners can't see what I'm doing. So, Yes, they anyway. can. They can see. If they go to <laughs> answer.tv, gonna... they can see everything you're doing. Yes. Welcome. So let me get this right. So so you get rid of him if he's useless. Yeah. And you keep him around if he's useful. No, it's not about that. It's like, okay, this person is Daisy, not my you, type. Daisy, you, you're going to keep people just to help you move. <laughs> no, I just say, okay, we're not, you know, really uh, like a dating material or yeah. marriage material or like anything said, material. Just, yeah, like I but said, there's at the same a connection time, there. Man, like you are very business savvy. Maybe connections, networking, like she said, or, you know. Somebody, somebody who can you ask for guidance regarding something else. It doesn't have to be like, okay, bye bye, see you later. We are friends. Is that okay? I'm just and, very, and that person says because I don't feel that we have a connection. I'm very blunt about it. I'm very blunt. I'm, not, I'm like I don't. I'm not feeling it. Sorry. It has Sorry. to be somebody that you don't. So see you chase any them away. Kind of, well, the only really bad thing I do, I do something that's really kind of cold. Uh, I want to hear okay. this. Okay. So the bad thing that I do do is. Um, if they, if I get their number, okay, and then like the first I'd be like, okay, let me see pictures, you know, to send me pictures. Well, you know, you always do that pictures, and you know, you know, because you never know what the pictures look like that, on their, on their what do you call their profile. Right. And the other thing too that I love is that once you get their number, they pop up as a friend request on Facebook. So you can <laughs> always, you can always sneak onto their Facebook and be like, all right, let me see the real pictures. Right. You know, the ones where people tag you in them and stuff. Uh huh. You know, so you can't go fix them. And you're or, drunk and you're like. Yeah, and if I go see that and you don't look the way that I thought you looked, then what do you do? I block them. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I don't even say goodbye or like I saw but your that's pictures. That's cool for such if a person. And then I just totally I block. I block their number because because they lied to me. Oh. That's why you don't you don't lie. Well, maybe they think Jersey they look. Girl, right? Maybe they think they look like they. No, they no, no, no. They they know darn well that their picture is from like 30 years ago. Okay. <laughs> and and when they were 30 pounds thinner. Okay. Oh my. Yeah. Right. And they, and they, so and they, you and judge, they you, you judge, five you, you judge guys. You, I guess no. you guys judge guys by their physical appearance Not really. before you even meet them. Yes. Yeah, you guys it. do it too, so. Yeah, you know. because you know why? I don't look across the bar and say, "Wow, that person has an amazing personality. I can't wait to meet them." No, well, I'm true. looking at them. 
Oh, well, listen, I met all sorts of people when I used to be on them sites. I'm going to tell you, the women were wacky and wackier and the wackiest. I, I love your stories. You can't really oh, tell them. Oh, baby, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I, the stories I went through, you know, I was afraid for my own life at one time. I know. I said, that's it. I'm done doing this. Just the piercing stuff. lady was awesome. Oh, my God. I mean, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no. this, yeah. It's just craziness. But I always said to them, do you want to be friends? And please, God, say no. Please say no. I used to, <laughs> I used to hold up. Yes. I. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you around. Or when That's they have a, a picture line. and they totally look like an Italian guy, and then you get on the phone with them and they sound like they're from Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> like, come on. Who do you think you're fooling right now? Right. Get out of here. Hey, listen, I dated a girl. She was a guy. What? Oh, my God. No, I've heard horror stories yeah. like that. It's true. That's hilarious. And we were you, friends. You, Nothing you, happened. Did you go to second base or anything? I didn't even go to the <laughs> plate, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you know something? He was so he was so honest. He told me straight up when we met. I'm we were going to the up. movies. I said, All right, the movies is done. We ain't doing that. I said, let's go get a drink. And we went. And we were friends. And he told me about his world, which is mind-boggling. Mm-hmm. When you're a, a woman in a guy's body or whatever you want to call it. Transgender. I don't know. You call it whatever you want. I was in New York. I drank heavy, then left. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a true story. Was this in the village, by any chance? Of course, it was. In the uh, village. no, this was this is in the Heights, though. Oh, in, in the, the Heights. Heights. Yeah, in the Heights. Heights. Guy was dressed in white. I'm like, was he Latino? Seven. Yes, he was. Of course, oh, he was. Great. Not a good outing for my guys. Not a good outing. But in those but, days, they didn't have it the way you guys have it now. In those days, you had to sort of put the pieces together. There weren't. There was no Facebook yeah, and all do that. Any, like, well, it's but five o'clock really shadow nice. game. Away. Like, there's some guys that I. Oh, you see this guy? You're gonna think he was a girl too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, but yeah. you took it really nice because I heard stories of people who find out and they kill, almost kill the guy. What do you want me to tell the world that I got suckered? No, I kept it cool. I said, listen, you know, we're friends, we're buds, and we just. <laughs> we're <on."> buds. <laughs> <laughs> really. But they, because experience. you didn't kiss her or anything, but if the guy maybe kiss the uh, person, uh-huh. they get really upset. Okay, I have to tell you before we you keep going down there. Oh boy, I'm a boy. The crying game. Is it worse if and the, you're gonna find something that you maybe don't expect? Is find. it worse if the guy is a girl, and you meet them? Is that worse than the guy who meets a girl and it's a real guy? Is it worse for a girl? Oh my goodness. Not necessarily. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry. sometimes not really. See, that's why people say things about you, but then you have it. Now I see why. Oh, well, whatever. Keep your you options know what? open. I, I mean, you wouldn't shoot somebody if she was a, no, a guy, I would be like, okay. but he was a real girl. I, I will say, because women are different, I will say, I'm not into that. But, you but know, thank you very much. Yeah, but I appreciate, thank you. you know, but I thank feel Thank you very much. Thank you for the you effort. Like me, but no, I'm not into girls. Thank you for the cheeseburger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but honey, I wouldn't No, you don't want anything because no. Wow, well, you know, you work with people, now you get to know everything about them. I know. <laughs> no, I just will be like a little bit like, no, I'm not into that. And Jersey you know. girl, what happens if a woman approached you? How do you handle that situation? All the time. Oh, you get hit on by a lot of women? Are you kidding? Look at her. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Why, does she look like a like a woman She chaser? looks like a Barbie. She's a, because she would be a lipstick lesbian. All the oh, Especially yeah, in Florida. Oh, that's yeah, true. I heard about manly, that. guys. It's, it's like fan, it's lipstick Florida. lesbian. I heard about yeah, that. And it's girls that like guys, but they like hooking up with women, too. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. Like Times are changing. I used to get invited to a lot of uh, threesomes and swinging things. And, uh, yeah, all the time. It was always by the. Oh, woman. that's the other thing on the dating site. There's always like couples looking. You know, hey, mm. I want to you know, come hang out with me, and my husband. You know I'm how I, here. I I feel sometimes sometimes when you're in a place and a girl is looking at you a little bit more than usual. Oh, like, you can feel it. I can feel. Oh, uh, they weird. don't just look at you. They come sit down and say, hey, hey, you want a drink? And next, you know, they're getting oh, somebody to buy you a drink. Daisy, okay. I can see you get hit on by a lot of women. Or they grab you and say, come dance with me. Or they just sit, plop down next to you and start talking to you. Ew. Next thing you okay. know, their their hand is on your lap. They're playing with your head and telling you yep. how pretty you are. Yeah, that's it. That's what I would get. Like, yeah. oh, you are the cutest little thing. Like, really? Oh yeah, they just oh, shower yeah. you with compliments. Next thing they're just trying to move in to you make are out with you. So cute. Oh yeah, they oh, have. There's wow. no limit. There's no time limit. They're just like. Boom, so you wouldn't. You wouldn't. If somebody hit on you, you wouldn't make them a friend. Right, you sort of not say, really. no, I you're don't coming do on too Move strong. On. Yeah, yeah, I said I'm I mean, not I, into I have girls. plenty of friends that do, have done that or do that, but like, there's people who have tried my friends to know see me. me. They don't, they don't screw around, you know. Yeah, exactly. They, they know my personality, and that's not my, kind of that's scary. Not my thing. But I think there's people who try just to see how they feel. Isn't that weird? And then really? there's guy, there's girls that do it to make um, guys jealous. True. To get attention from guys, it's probably it's one of the biggest, one of the biggest reasons they use it. Look what it's I can atten- do! I look what it's I can. an attention getter. Exactly. Yeah, look, you know, I could go and, and hook up with all these beautiful women in here. 
you know. You know, when I, when I went to Georgia, this lady plopped in my lap and she was taking selfies of us. And I said to her, I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> and she says, no, but I want to make my boyfriend jealous. I said, can you pick somebody else? <laughs> this guy was huge. And uh, that was my story and sticking to it. I mean, that's what happened. Nice. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. I mean, if I have anybody plop on your uh, lap and start taking uh, pictures? All the time, yes. All the me, time? Yeah, no, it yes. happened to me before. Well, with you know. blonde hair, you're going to get that much more? No, you know what I mean? Like, guys, say, Daisy, can I just take a picture with you? My girl is in the other side. I'm like, yeah, sure. Mm. I didn't know this woman, Daisy. Yeah, exactly. This is a stranger. I'm That's talking about strange. strangers. No, yeah, it never happened to me. No strangers? Way. Yeah. Strangers don't I get I on I your I lap? I have strangers that ask me. The producer's me. producing. I know. Okay. I know. That's because she doesn't want to tell us about her strangers. All right. We're going to be right back. Adios. Uh, I guess we got to go long because it's at the 30 minute mark. No. No? All no. right. We'll All be right. right back. For several years, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated has developed tax strategies for Coral Springs business owners as well as individuals and families. From bookkeeping to payroll, straightforward tax preparation, or complex audit representation, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated is recognized for customer-oriented service and financial acumen that results in smart tax solutions. Call Quality Tax Plus Services at 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Part of the service Quality Tax Plus offers is life insurance, the most important insurance to have. But there are many people in Florida that do not have it. It's true. Thinking about the end of one's life can be uncomfortable. But when it comes down to it, life insurance is not about you, but those you leave behind. Make the right choice and find a life insurance plan that's right for you. Cover your tax and insurance needs at Quality Tax Plus Services. Call 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Visit the website at qualitytaxplusservices.com or call 954-969-0123 and let their services help make your life worry-free. 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Hi, it's Leah here to tell you about Dr. Anthony Pinozo. He's a pain specialist located in Southern Palm Beach County. So if you are somebody that you know is suffering in pain, Dr. Pinozo is the one you guys need to call and make that call today because living in pain is no way to go through life. Dr. Pinoza has been in practice now for more than 49 years. He's treated more than 73,000 patients for pain. He's an expert when it comes to diagnosing the pain, and he has had huge turnarounds. In fact, people with living with scoliosis, he has had nearly a 100% turnaround. Lumbar pain as well. If you've got lower back pain, if you're suffering with migraines or flat feet pain, maybe pain in your elbows, your neck, your shoulders, Dr. Pinoza can help you. And the greatest thing is he can help you without drugs, without surgery, and without having to go through weeks and months of rehabilitation. Give him a call today. Set up an appointment. It's 561-381-5800. Tune into his show Sundays, 11 to noon. You're on, baby. Every day. Are you like a singer from another country? (laughs) That's my passion that I haven't been able to explore. Okay. But I think it's my opportunity here in this show. What do you mean show. you haven't been able to explore? You know, because I sing every time I'm going to do the weather, yeah, when I do. feel like Jersey it. Jersey Girl sings too. You guys should do it. We have to do we something. We should cut a record. Cut a record. Do something with that. Cut a record. A record? A record. 800-889-0267. If you got a funky date, I said funky. Yes, funky you did. date. Yes, you did. Let us hear about it. <laughs> do we want to hear what you really did? Do really want to hear it? What's the craziest hear? date oh. that you ever had? I had one. You want it? I have one. Long time before I got married. Before. I had a good. I have a good story. <laughs> Tell us. Um, I was in my my music job, and it was my first week in the front office. And this little guy comes in, and he's like, "Hey, you want to go see this band, Stone Temple Pilots?" And I said, "Oh, I love them." Right? Oh. And I said, eh, and he goes, "Ah, don't think about it. You know you want to go." And I said, oh, "Okay, sure." So he picks me up. He's like, where do you live? I'm like, four minutes away. He's like, all right, I'll pick you up. He picks me up. We get on 95. The first thing out of his mouth is, my wife left me. She didn't. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh get out of here. God. My wife left me. She doesn't really love me. And, uh, you know, do you have so a boyfriend? And I said, yes, I have a boyfriend. Do you love him? And I'm like, uh, That's yes. That's a crazy person. Yes. And we weren't even at the show yet. And it was three bands that night. So after the first band, he's like, hey, you want to get out of here? No, before we were, we were standing in line. He's like, hey, you want to get out of here? I'm like, nope, I'm here to see Stone Temple Pilots. Well, okay, first band comes on, same thing. Second band comes on, same thing. 
during the first, the, the headliner, Stone Temple, he's asking me the whole time, do you want, do you want to get out of here? I'm like, oh. No, I want to stay to the very end. You invited me, so there That's you have it. Scary. How did this date end? Here's how it ended. So he goes, uh, so you live real close to work. That's really cool. I live over in Westchester, you know? And, uh, and I'm like, I don't know what Westchester means. I don't know what the hell that means. So he takes me out to eat, and I really don't eat. And he's like, so do you like Hispanic men? And I said, not really. So he goes, I don't have a chance. I'm like, no, considering you have, I have a boyfriend, but uh, okay, nice try. So he takes me around and he's like, you don't know Westchester, huh? And I said, uh, no. And then he points out, because he goes, oh, I used to live four minutes from the old job, too. And he points out the job. And I'm like, oh, no. What was the job? It was another distributor, another music distributor. Oh. So I, I put two and two together and he goes, yeah, look, there's the old job. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're not taking me to your house. You are not taking me to your house. You're not taking me to your house. Oh, you're not driving. He's driving. He's all driving. This time. He I pulls up. Said, I wouldn't have even eaten with him. I would have said take I me I will home. leave. He yeah, why didn't you eat with this guy? Hold on, of because I had no choice. So oh, he yeah. so he goes, he pulls up to his driveway and I was like, I'm not going into your house. He's like, I have 3,000 CDs. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> the hell? So take me home. this is like the date of wackadoonness. And so then he drives me all the way back home because we were in downtown Miami. We went to Westchester, and I live in North Miami. And he goes, uh, I have to take this drive later tonight only to come back and go to work. I'm like, I don't care. What the hell's wrong with you? I, I'm not interested. We just met. You just invited me oh to the show. God. And the whole time he's like, my wife left me. My, my. I'm like, I, I, it's not my problem. I would have said I know why. Yeah. yeah. No, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that. I would just I say, would say I'm going to the ba ladies' room. Somebody. I will say I'll, I'll go. I'm going to the ladies' room. I'll be right back. And he ended up. I, we are pretty it. sure he married a, a mail order Russian bride because that's he's got a Russian well, bride. You know what? Oh. You stay away from craziness. <laughs> well, yes. Early yes. 90s. Crazyville. Early nineties. Crazy. To me, it didn't happen that that bad. I he asked. Not that bad. Not that bad. We uh, it was a long time ago, and he there was a nightclub not too far from the house, and. He picked me up. That was, it's so long time ago that I, I, I'm trying to put it in my over head. Over 10 years? Yes. Over 10 years ago? Yes. Okay. And uh, he, it was so weird because, you know, he asked me out. He seemed like a gentleman. Everything seemed nice. And he uh, said, do you want to go and dance? And he said, I do not feel like dancing today. We, maybe we can hang out and just, you know, go for a dinner and just, sure. because it was a first date. Right. I said, okay. Did you like him? No, it was like a first date. Right. I didn't have any feelings right. at all. You gotcha. just meet the guy. He seemed nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just meet the guy. He seems nice, and that's it. We right. He drove me to the nightclub. Uh -huh. I said, I don't want to dance. <laughs> he parked in the nightclub. Uh -huh. and I said, where are we going? Dancing. <sighs> I couldn't believe it. Why? Because I said, I don't feel like dancing today. So he took you dancing anyway. He said, no, we are going dancing on the first day. That's, what? That's, the, that's called the push. That co the that's push. called controlling yeah. that's call the push. Controlling freak. Yeah, it, yeah it, control freak. What yeah. was the name of that movie? Where the well, let me finish. Oh, you want this more to Ooh, this? Oh, it gets better. It gets better. God help us. I, well, it doesn't get better. Oh, he, he said, I knew it. <laughs> See, I told you. I said, he's like, please, I really want to dance. He's like, this is so weird. Because a regular guy would say he wants to what please What club me. did he take you to? I don't want to give any free publicity, but wow. it's around here. Okay. Anyways, he said, Rachel's. let's go. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go there. <laughs> that's what <laughs> no, I was that's, thinking. That's something else. But we went inside because he actually begged. I really want to go dancing. And I said, what is wrong with this person? Why is he so? And then, I don't know if he wanted me to see how I dance. And then he said, okay, I like her. Uh -huh. I don't know. You, you, you never know. Exactly. <laughs> so I went inside and we danced a little bit, but I was already mad. I was frustrated. Of course. On the first day, you don't you do that to any girl. Yeah, yeah. Grab Uber. Go and home. I said, <laughs> didn't no, have it Uber. was 10 years ago. Imagine. <laughs> what Uber? So I said, well, I don't feel good. Are we, can you take me back? And he didn't get the hint. No. Because immediately, you know, you change. I, he dropped me at home. And he kept calling me and going around my job. And I said, oh, I'm not interested. I'm wow. not interested. He, on the first day, you make me do something that I don't want. Imagine my life with you. No, I know, right? He's a Ew. Yes. And I said, no, he. He still comes around? 
no, no, thanks God, no, 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 thanks God, no, no. But it was tough that day. It never happened to me that a guy, usually a guy is very, like, pleasing you, like, opening the door, where you want to go, whatever you yeah. want to go. On the first day, whatever you want to go. You, you remember 40-year-old version? Yeah. Yes. Remember that? Oh, I love that movie. Remember when the guy was in the car and she was drunk and driving? <laughs> she and hit everything? Oh, that was the funniest part. And hit everything He's like, in the world? what did you eat? Is that the one that threw up? And she threw yeah. up in his mouth and he, were you eating... <sighs> Were you eating oysters and all that? Yes. Well, I went on a, a date with a girl in New York, and she was drunk as a skunk, and she was driving. Oh, no. And she, I don't know how many cars she just missed, <laughs> how many people she just missed, and we're driving in Manhattan. Right. And I'm praying. I says, you can leave me in the corner. I'm, I'm done with this day <laughs> right away. I'll say to myself. <laughs> so she drives us down to Plato's Retreat. Of course. Of course, right? Of course. I, I'm 19. Uh, and she oh, drives 19? us down. I was 19. And she drives us on the Plato's Retreat. And I always wanted to go there, but not with this crazy girl. <laughs> oh, my So I say to her, can we go in? Because they have separate entrances. They have couples, singles, and all this. Sure. They have, like, different places to attack this building. Mm-hmm. So I said to her, can we go and meet on the inside? What was the cover for that, meanwhile? Like, 25 bucks. I was going to say, 30 bucks to go in to get free. 25 no, this is a while ago, but it was 25 bucks. So I'm going to tell you, you walk in there, the first thing you see is the pools. Oh, and all this pool stuff going Meanwhile, what does it smell like? Uh, it smells like feet. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it smells like the stuff that grows out of your feet. I figured. Funkus lamungus. So cheese. It's fungus lamungus. So oh. we, I go in there and I see her out of the corner of my eye. So I'm trying to avoid her, you know, because I wanted to check the place out. Right. Um, and then they have back rooms. That's where it gets really, really yeah. crazy. Uh huh. I left because she was like, "Hey, Freddie, come here." Hey, I mean, who takes you on? And she asked me out on the date. This is Once the first date to first Plato's. Date. That's right. Nice. And I said, uh, no, Plato's Retreat is a, a swinger. It's a swinger club. In New York. Oh, oh my, my lord. Yeah, That's a good first that date. That's where you went on a first date? First date yeah. It's a famous uh, swingers club in New York. That's World that famous. That's a hookup. No, that was, I don't know what she, message she was relaying to me, but I <laughs> left it, night, I left it in the table. building. But you're 19 years old, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I had crazy people when I was in, in <laughs> I NYU, because I went to NYU, it was, it was nuts, you know? I love your stories. There was a woman that took me to see that cop story, Pacino, where he was looking for the killer, uh-huh. uh, and, and they were boycotting it, all the gays were boycotting it. Oh, right. That they didn't want you to go into the movie, so I had to find my way into the movie theater. So I go into the movie theater, and everybody's smoking up. <laughs> I mean, it was like I couldn't see the screen. There was so much smoke. <laughs> Remember those days? That was crazy then. When you could so, smoke in the theater. But I didn't smoke. And I said to her, you know, can we leave? And I wasn't comfortable. Right. Oh, no. And they're passing it around. I'm just giving it to her. And she's inhaling like a chippity, you know? This is the same chick? No, it's a different chick. Oh, I met this girl when I went skiing. Oh, wow. She put a big fur coat on the bunny hop thing, you know? Uh-huh. I had to jump over it. Uh-huh. I thought it was a bear. I jumped over this thing. My skis went one way. I went down like a, like a, like a sack. What, upstate, like in Poconos? Was that the, in the Poconos? This was in Vermont. Oh, in Vermont. Vermont. Oh, Sugar Bush in Sugar Vermont. Sugar Bush, I was going to yes. say, which, which place in Vermont? So I thought I broke every bone in my body. She comes over to me and says, are you okay? Mm-hmm. I says, no. Was that your coat? Yes. Would you like to go on a date? That's how she was catching oh, guys on the mountain. She caught you. God. She trapped you. That was the last I saw of that chick. I nice. Desperation. I'm telling you. Desperation will show you. Yeah. I got, I, I've been on, with some of the wackiest people. You really have. You could write a book. I could write three books. I know. I still have room for more. I mean, wacky to no end. I know. But you enjoyed it. Tell me the truth. Yeah, I enjoyed it because it gave me, it gives me all these wonderful stories. Exactly. I mean, when you're in the moment, in the heat of the moment, you're like, what in the is going on who are these people how did i get here why how did i get here how why? did i get in this car what bi- what <laughs> earthly business do i have being here why am i even here 800-889-0267 give the number out tell us a wacky story on a date you know it's really strange because in florida you got people that move around yeah so they go to plenty of fish when you go to the free sites it's permission to to punish me Yes. That's what I, I used to call Yeah. It. You can punish me because I give you permission. Exactly. So I went on this date with this this Floridian. And she was a teacher. Now, how many teachers do you think would be wacky, 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 right? Oh, all, of all, of yeah. all of them. All, all of them. All of them. She tells me, I can't date you. I says, oh, we just met. I said, already? You don't like me? Wow, that was quick. No, you're from the north. You're a northerner. So oh, what? God. Are you serious? So I said to her, the Civil War has been over for 20 years. <laughs> What do you think is going to happen here? She's oh, no, we're going to go to war. Lost. She's still very upset about the South losing. I tell you. I oh, tell well, you. get over it. 
That's it, crazy. It's craziness, yeah, but it's it's a true story. Yeah. Well, I went on a on a blind date once where the the guy was like, "So, do you believe in reincarnation?" And I said, "Yeah, sure. Why not?" And he's like, "Well, in my next life, I'm going to be a lesbian." And I'm like, "Here we go." <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be a next les. I'm going to be oh a lesbian God, in my next I life. I see your face, Connecticut, when this comes out of his mouth. <laughs> I, I was like, uh. Huh? And he's like, and I'm going to adopt all kinds of children. I said, okay. Oh, Lord. Tell me how that works out for you. I know. I had a girl that told me that reincarnation. I said, yeah, you were a goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so she says to me, why would you say that? I says, because you got some hair going on your chin. Oh, that was the end of that day. Wow. Well, I'm going to tell you, she deserved everything I gave her. She terrible. was horrible. She was awful. She was horrible. She was horrible. This woman. Uh, see, I thought I was. She mean. wanted to whip She's me like into. Blocking people. This one tells people their goats with their hair on their chin. Oh she wanted. God. Okay, I would crawl. And there was a woman. Die. There was a woman that that, that that was uh that worked for me. Actually, she had hair on her chest. Oh boy. And I swear to God, it's a true story, Rosie. If you're listening to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's a true story. And she used to take people's guys' foreheads and rub her chest. <laughs> no, on, you. On their forehead. Okay. You, what? You've got. I'm so glad I started this conversation. You have way better stories than me. And I'm gonna tell you something. I used to tell Rosie, Rosie, what all do we respect? Can you not do that at the? Because I used to own bars. Can you not do that at the bar? Because if I find a pubic hair, I have to throw you out. Ew. And they loved her, Rosie, the hairy woman. Ew. They loved her. They oh loved her. God. I gotta say something. A circus. Yes. She was from a circus. I gotta say something. Rosie what about us being a bad day to somebody? Do we have any horror stories? I was only like 18 and I was oh, you very mean like, like getting drunk and like throwing up like, all over their no, car. No, I was so nervous. And you did that? No, <laughs> you, you did that? You no, did? but I'm trying to. I, that's what I'm trying to think. No, no. no what I'm not. saying is, when you are like so nervous that you messed up and you really like the guy, like it happened to me a long time ago. I was a teenager and I really liked this guy and I started talking about something so stupid. What sign are you? Uh oh. <laughs> you really like the guy? I like the guy. You're better and off I liking about, guys. You get silly. And I start talking about. Uh, you know the horoscope, and you are a Pisces, and I'm a Libra. Oh, we a don't Pisces. Make, yeah. A Pisces. 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 She just Europe. said it in Spanish. What's a Libra? I said it. I said it in Spanish. She said, said it in Spanish. She said it in Spanish. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> but anyways, that's worse too. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know what to talk about, and the guy's looking at you so cool because he was so cool and you know all yeah. fit, and you're like. Hi. You feel like so stupid. Never happened to you? No, guys? I was very picky. I never went on just any date. I was very, very picky, so yeah. No. no I wasn't really. I wasn't picky. I all come in all the stories. You have to tell you have to tell the Pierce the P G thirteen. Well we have to take a commercial first. Yeah. Oh mm, true. And then I come with the news. Remember? But I wanna hear the Pierce I, I want him to tell the piercing <laughs> story because that's classic. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in hearing this one as well. All right, well. All right, well, let's take a break and come back with all the piercings in the world. 800-889-0267. Give us a call if you got a piercing, that funny story. All right, yes. we'll be right back. Please welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming as well as tape productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2, dot TV. Or call them at 1-866-224-5422. That's 866-224-5422. Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world, but have no idea how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is they fit your product into the public's need. 
They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of dollars and just find out those ideas just don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carry advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. For several years, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated has developed tax strategies for Coral Springs business owners as well as individuals and families. From bookkeeping to payroll, straightforward tax preparation, or complex audit representation, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated is recognized for customer-oriented service and financial acumen that results in smart tax solutions. Call Quality Tax Plus Services at 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Part of the service Quality Tax Plus offers is life insurance, the most important insurance to have. But there are many people in Florida that do not have it. It's true. Thinking about the end of one's life can be uncomfortable. But when it comes down to it, life insurance is not about you, but those you leave behind. Make the right choice and find a life insurance plan that's right for you. Cover your tax and insurance needs at Quality Tax Plus Services. Call 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Visit the website at qualitytaxplusservices.com or call 954-969-0123 and let their services help make your life worry-free. 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Hi, it's Leah here to tell you about Dr. Anthony Pinozo. He's a pain specialist located in Southern Palm Beach County. So if you are somebody that you know is suffering in pain, Dr. Pinozo is the one you guys need to call and make that call today because living in pain is no way to go through life. Dr. Pinozo has been in practice now for more than 49 years. He's treated more than 73,000 patients for pain. He's an expert when it comes to diagnosing the pain and he has had huge turnarounds. In fact, people with living with scoliosis, he has had nearly a 100% turnaround. Lumbar pain as well. If you've got lower back pain, if you're suffering with migraines or flat feet pain, maybe pain in your elbows, your neck, your shoulders, Dr. Pinozo can help you. And the greatest thing is he can help you without drugs, without surgery, and without having to go through weeks and months of rehabilitation. Give him a call today. Set up an appointment. It's 561-381-5800. Tune into his show Sundays, 11 to noon. You're lunching with two boys from Brooklyn who invite you to advertise on the show. Share your good news. Just call 866-224-5422 and get all the information. There are plenty of options and this could be a great chance to get the word out about your business or service. That's 866-224-5422. Now let's get back to those two boys from Brooklyn. Hello? Nobody's paying attention. Because this one lost her plug, her power, and she has me looking. The plug is all ready yet. <laughs> okay, let me just, see. Just wing it, baby. Put on the news. What is the news? I have to look it up. That's okay. okay. Make it up. Okay. It's a beautiful day outside. There's it's lots of traffic everywhere. Outside. It's 95, so deal with it, people. There you go. Okay. It's a sponsor by I'm that to TV. Anthony oh. Penoso. Anthony Penoso. You see what know. happens when she can't read that? <laughs> Anthony Penoso. What is the, the phone number? What is the phone number? Eight six. Oh. That's the thing. I had it here, everything. Everything died in my computer just now. Well, do you want me to do the weather? No, I have it right it's here. You don't have Dr. Anthony Penoso. What is the phone number? Guaranteed to take care of migraines on do, the do first it and I'll get it. visit. Oh, my goodness. We, yes. we only say it about a thousand times. I a know. Thousand I don't, well, the weather is 84 in West Palm Beach and oh. Broward. Humidity, 55. And it's the... Um, High 84, low 72. And let's take a look at New York. It's sunny, New York. Yay. 84. And the high is going to be 90 in New York. Oh, yeah. It's <gasps> supposed to be 90 this week in New York. No, no, no. Well, it feels like 84 right now, and the humidity is 26. So, wait, are we supposed to rain today? 
No. In Florida? Yes. No. I don't Good. see it here. At the end of the week, We have like slight 18, 18 mile an hour winds, which is nice. So it keeps it like to the cool. Because I know I went out this morning at like 6.30 and I was like, wow, it's beautiful out. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be sunny today. So it's coming home at 6.30. Night. Exactly. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the traffic. We have a situation. I-95 going south in Boca Raton. No. Yes. yes. And we, no. Have, yes. we have another accident on I-595. That's Broward in uh, Pine Island. This weather and traffic update is sponsored by Anthony Panozo, 561-381-5800. And you heard the bell. Yes. That's the Harry Houdini bell. That's right. So if you call us or call him, you have his number? No, because you lost it. My computer just died. God. Give him a call. Just died. Cute. Wah, 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 wah. Well, that bit didn't work at all. It did not. Because you she- can call 1-800-889-0267 and we're going to hook you up with Houdini. Houdini. How did you know and that? he's going to fix and he's going to fix your credit as well. The yes. number is 954-969-0012. Okay. 954-969. Can we get the PG-13 version of your story, please? No, nah, that, that, that wasn't a good story. That's ah. naughty. So, PG-13 yeah, it. Man. Come on now. Man, somebody came and wanted to pierce me. <laughs> She had a date. She wanted. To, she came in with piercing tools. And she says we're gonna get pierced together. So no, we not. Oh, on a first date. That ain't happening. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gotta move on. I loved it. No, Gotta you. move on. I, that's too much. Ouch. She should have tried to get you really drunk first. The uncensored version was a lot better. Did you ever get any <laughs> any of these messages from this dating in the middle of the night, like? Two o'clock in from the morning. dating site? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, because you, you can go on the next day and it says what time they wrote the message. Uh, you get messages yeah. at because two sometimes in the I wake up in the middle of the night, like I can't sleep, and I'll just go on there to see what message and I'll read it, and then I'll start to type. And I'm like, oh my god, it's four o'clock in the morning. They're gonna think I'm crazy, <laughs> right? So but then I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 I gotta wait till morning. Like I'm waiting by the phone. Do you ever yeah. get asked something like, can, can we hook up right now? Can we just think? Go for a ride right now. I don't oh, know. I'm I, just I saying. get text messages like that, not messages on face oh. on, on these dating sites. Yeah. And you you got messages like that? No, I'm married. Yeah, if a guy asks me to come I'm over and hang out like 10:30 at night and I haven't heard from him all day, no, it's not gonna happen. No, P- that's P- one thing P- about what is it? Pizza and what? Pizza it's Netflix, Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. <laughs> Netflix and chill. No, we are happy. Get to the damn pizza. <laughs> Freddie and I were happily married. That's one thing that we appreciate about marriage. We're not. It's a crazy world out there. There's a lot of crazy people. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, so. we're married. Getting crazy about the minute here. Thank you very much. Yes. So, are you guys? Hey, are you guys up? Uh, you guys buy lottery tickets? Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Because we buy them as a group. Oh. We can. Oh, you want to? Come on, come on. Let's what's do this. You gotta be in it to win How it. How much is it? It's a dollar a ticket. No. <laughs> How much is the pot? Oh, my lord. How much? How big I is the pot? I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody know? No. You know what I feel like though? I feel like when I buy a lottery ticket. Then I, I go to bed at night and I dream about what I'm going to do if I win. Oh, oh And then I think about it and think about it and think about it until I, I, I find out that I lost. You cancel it out. Yeah. You just I, have to forget it. I can't. You have to. I can't because then my dad will be like, did you check the lottery ticket? Did you check the lottery ticket? I'm on you the know? other side of the road. I, I buy the ticket. I put it in my purse. And you forget and about it. three months later, yes. oh, I found She's that winner it. everyone's waiting for. And like, you know, you can't go collect your winnings because somebody else won. It's her yes. with her ticket in her No, I go back six and they ago. told me, this has been a year old, even if you won. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I bought a lottery ticket with my youngest son, and he was harassing me. Check the number, check the number, check the number. So yeah. take it easy. I don't even know where I put the damn thing. people think about telling you. You have, like, daydream about what you're going to do. What, what, what would you on. do with I don't know. If you, yeah, if you won, what would you do with the winnings? I know I, I would buy... I put would, it in my mattress. I would buy myself a house. I would buy my parents their dream home. I would probably, you know, um you spend it houses. in an hour. Yeah. Yeah, right. You'll, you'll be out of with money. The way that the, way the, big, the, the as big as the pots have been lately, are you kidding me? Yeah, you'll have a lot left over. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to spend it in your First in, of all, you got to get an accountant and an attorney because you got to figure out the taxes. Yes, that's true. That's right. the first thing. Right. Then right. after that, you take well, your lump sum up. and that's it. And you got to no. you got to get a go. uh, new phone because your entire family generation will call you. I would take care of everybody in my family. And you'll be out of money in I a would week. take care of some of my friends. No, I wouldn't. Doesn't matter how much money you give them, they're going to say we That's want not enough. More. We yeah. want more. Yeah. yeah, now this is it. You cut off after this. I would buy an island and invite your my house. You suspended there. cash. Now go. Yeah, one more. Oh, no, I'm no. not talking about giving to like my cousins, like little cousins and stuff like that. I'm talking Everybody's about... coming. Hey, do you remember that show Alice? Yeah. Do you remember Vera on the show? She yeah. died. Not a lot of people left of my. She family. died. Yeah. Right now. My friends just tweeted me that, oh. that she passed away. Who is this? 
it's from a show from the 70s and it was about Alice Alice the, it was a diner in Arizona yes yes and okay. and Vera, Vera she was the kind of wacky right the psychotic right. one yeah she she passed away she was 74 wow. holy oh, smoke well, 74 wow. everybody that I watch on TV is dying though and everybody in music is dying everybody, there will be nobody left there'll be no music and no videos terrible hey you know I just got invited Amp got invited to do the uh, Democratic Convention in Philadelphia. Nice. What? Yep. I did the uh, one in North Carolina. When, and the, they when, invited I, me back when in do I buy my July. plane ticket? So when, what? It ain't cheap to do this stuff. I know this, man. But it's a lot of fun. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to do it this year, though. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. But it's a lot of fun. You get to meet everybody. That's good. Obama and everybody that's else. good. So well, that's. Uh, you're going to go. That's when? What day? July 25th to the... No. So we're not going to have you here in July? No, 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 hold on. July? Yeah, July 25th to the 28th. Mm, okay. And then Jersey Girl has something that she's working on July 3rd, yes? Yes, for the Wounded Warriors Project. Oh, look at you. Uh-huh. Yeah, we uh, may be getting invited to actually um, host on one of the stages and be uh-huh. part of the Wounded Warriors Project as part of the radio station. So nice. I'm working on that. Do you remember the guys who had the drummer and the flag and the bandage around the eye and stuff? We can go in with like... Dun, 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 dun. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to work on this, uh, <laughs> Freddie. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Three supposed minutes, be, by the this way. Is, this is my name, okay? Exactly. Supposed to be <laughs> three minutes. You see, this is why she gets the way she gets because. Dougie fresh. Three minutes. I heard you. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's a countdown yapping. for saying goodbye to the school year to all the children. Yeah. In Palm Beach County, yeah. I think. Where are they going? Bye bye. Yes, Friday. That's Where? It. They're going home and walking around the mall all oh, summer. Oh, God. <laughs> They're going to be clogging up the lanes. I noticed there were more cars on the road recently. No traffic. No, no, no. The traffic gets pretty good on summer because there's no, no buses. school buses. The buses don't run anyway. That's, yeah, we have Pump a situation in Palm Beach County that, well, let's. Uh, the superintendent is in charge of that, and he's been taking care of it the, with the school buses. And the beginning of the year hopefully will be better than last year. You know that I have a CDL to... to to drive those school buses and I went and I said do you want me to drive and they said no thank you no they need a uh, bus they drivers. turned me down oh. they said that was too weird you were, oh you were too weird well you were there's too weird. A, because I volunteered there's something else <laughs> but anyways minutes. it's a countdown uh, there's a lot of, of uh, students are finished today and tomorrow and Friday and they take over so this because is the last this, yeah Memorial Day yeah. weekend is gonna be Beaches summer gonna be the packed. beginning of summer for all of them so Beach is going to be fine. Yes. Listen, I also got a text that uh, Whitehall Boca Raton did their um, Alzheimer's walk. Congratulations to the people down there. Good job. Oh. Uh, I got a text. I got a text. Oh, is that is you, Freddie? Are you coming? Oh, no, somebody. Are <laughs> oh, you got my text? I didn't. First of all, Daisy, that's horrible. You took that, that was, out of context. That Keep that your was, ears on, Daisy. Yes. That Holy was two hours smoke. ago. She did take it out of context. <laughs> did she say? And look, we're gonna put. We're gonna put. Jersey girl on the air reading her phone. <laughs> <laughs> Adios amigos. Adios amigos. All right, Tomorrow listen. Text uh, messages, so. This is the end. Lunchtime is over. That's Pack right. your bags. Get back to work. What's today? Wednesday? Today is yeah, hump man. day. Yay. Oh, yeah. And it's beautiful out, so. And there's enjoy no less day, less. Guys. We hope that you're doing well and that the doctor finds your illness. Yes. Oh, yeah. We didn't say anything about poor Hopefully less. he looks deep. Good vibration to less. Yeah. Less is not sick. It's because I was in New Orleans. He decided to take two days off. That's the yeah, real deal. That's right. Yeah. He mm-hmm. needs attention. That's right. Somebody give him attention. But anyway, everybody say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. We'll see you mañana. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Bye. Bye.
that's about it for today's lunch break with two boys from Brooklyn. You're invited to join the break every day, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. So if you missed some of the good stuff they served up today, there's more coming next time. Bring your lunch and the boys from Brooklyn will bring the smiles. And it's all live. See you next time. Now go and enjoy the rest of your day. WBZT West Palm Beach and iHeartRadio Station.